Good morning and welcome to today's Daily Journal News Break sponsored by Renaissance Bank. Today is Monday, April 16th, and I'm your host, Chris Kiefer, and we're going to take a look at the top news and sports stories from northeast Mississippi. But first, let's start with the weather forecast. Today we're looking at partly cloudy skies with a high of 57 and a low of 39. Looking ahead at your three-day outlook, it is going to get a little bit warmer. Tomorrow calls for sunny skies with a high of 77 and a low of 55. Wednesday, partly cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 48. And for Thursday, sunny with a high of 62 and the low, 66 and the low of 42. Let's take a look now at today's top headlines. Lafayette Upper Elementary teacher Whitney Drury was selected as the 2018 Mississippi Teacher of the Year on Friday afternoon. The recognition was announced by the Mississippi Department of Education. Each school district selects its own Teacher of the Year, and one teacher from each congressional district is chosen as a finalist. Drury is in her 15th year as an educator. She started as a science teacher before changing paths to educate students with intellectual disabilities. She said in a press release that she believes all students can learn if they are nurtured and placed in the right environment. Drury will receive a $5,000 stipend and will represent Mississippi in the National Teacher of the Year competition. Of the 542 locally owned bridges that have been closed throughout Mississippi, 58 are located in northeast Mississippi. Alcorn, Calhoun, and Tishomingo counties have the most closed bridges with eight each. Prentice County has seven closed bridges. The counties of Lee and Monroe each report no closed bridges, according to the Office of State Aid Road Construction website. There are 10,783 bridges across the state owned by local governments. Last week, the issue of substandard bridges came to the forefront when Governor Phil Bryant declared a state of emergency, forcing the closure of 103 locally owned bridges. Those were bridges that had been deemed unsafe by the Federal Highway Administration, but that had not been closed by local governments. If the bridges had not been closed, the state ran the risk of losing federal funds. At the same time, there were already hundreds of closed bridges across the state before the governor even issued the order. During the 2018 legislative session, lawmakers authorized $50 million in bonds to a program that helps local governments with their bridge needs. While the Mississippi flag has created controversy in some of Mississippi's larger cities for the last three years, most small towns have escaped the debate. Excluding Tupelo, Lee County has seven smaller municipalities. Four of those still fly the state flag on city property. Of the other three, only one removed the flag because it contains the Confederate battle emblem that is considered by some to be a racist symbol. Shannon Mayor Ronnie Hallmark said the town stopped flying the state flag in front of Town Hall about two years ago. Hallmark said some aldermen disagreed with the flag, and they all agreed to fly the city flag instead. Shannon is the exception among Lee County towns. Saltillo, Baldwin, Guntown, and Nettleton all fly both the U.S. flag and the state flag. The state flag is not currently flown outside of the city halls in Verona and Plantersville. Former Mayor Robert Trice took down former Verona Mayor Robert Trice took down the flag about two years ago because it was old and needed to be replaced. Verona still re displays both flags in the boardroom and the courtroom. Plantersville used to fly the U.S. flag on a pole between City Hall and the fire department. That practice ended recently when a fire truck backed into the flagpole and knocked it over. And in sports, both the Ole Miss and Mississippi State baseball teams ran into pitching trouble on Sunday and lost their weekend series. The fifth-ranked Rebels lost twice on Sunday at 15th-ranked Vanderbilt by identical 8-7 to seven scores. Mississippi State fell 7-5 to five at Auburn. Both teams dropped their series two games to one. For Mississippi State, the sixth inning proved costly on Sunday. The Bulldogs led 4 to nothing before a seven-run outburst by the host Tigers. MSU was coming off a weekend series victory at home against Ole Miss. That, is, that was MSU's only win in five SEC series. Meanwhile, Ole Miss played a pair of seven-inning games against Vanderbilt after Saturday's game was rained out. In the first game, the Rebels took a 6-5 to five lead into the bottom of the seventh, but the bullpen couldn't hold it. In game two, Vanderbilt built a 5 to nothing lead, fell behind 6-5 to five in the top of the sixth, and then scored three runs to regain the lead for good. Both teams will be back in action on Wednesday. Ole Miss is at home against Arkansas State, and MSU plays Memphis at AutoZone Park. Both games start at 6.30. And that does it for Newsbreak on this Monday. Don't forget that this show is just one of the many online offerings courtesy of the Daily Journal. 
that gets you news off the page and on the go. Special thanks to Renaissance Bank for sponsoring Newsbreak. And remember, you can catch new episodes each weekday morning at djournal.com or on our Facebook page. That's also where you can find more of all the stories we talked about today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Kiefer. Have a great Monday.